It's physics time! The question we'll be exploring today is Is light a particle, a wave or both? The two models used for light are the particle model and the wave model. The wave model was proposed by Christian Huygens. It suggests that light behaves like a wave, such as a water wave or a sound wave. The particle model was proposed by Sir Isaac Newton and it suggests that light is produced as a stream of particles traveling outward at very high speeds. To produce a diffraction pan from a single split, the wavelength and the width of the gap don't actually need to be of the same order of magnitude. In fact, diffraction even occurs if the ratio of wavelength over width is as small as 1 over 100. This is commonly misunderstood. Diffraction almost always happens, it's just a question of how much the diffraction happens, which is dependent on the ratio of wavelength over width. Let's have a look at how this plays out inside. Come on! First location. The hall. Alright, let's see what we have here. We have some light coming through this little gap in the curtain. And what do we have produced? A streak. Just a straight line right here. There's no diffraction, it's just a straight line. There's a gap in the curtains here, and if we have a look, this is what is produced. This arrangement of lines. As you can see, there are some dark areas and there are some light areas. All of this coming from that gap. said before, the amount of diffraction depends on the ratio of wavelength over width. The greater the ratio, the more diffraction there will be, which means the waves will bend around either side more. The lower the ratio, however, the less diffraction there will be, which means the waves will be more directional and will diffract into the shadow regions less and less as the ratio reduces. as well we can see the same thing present except to a smaller extent there's a gap in the curtains here and what is produced on the wall these lines now you may be thinking like I was at the start that this is produced from the curtains that's behind this oh that's our backyard I mean our front yard but there is no curtain here it's just the light and what do we have when I close this curtain? Streaks. Light and dark and light and dark. Supporting the theory that light is a wave. This one, as we saw before, supports the theory that light is a particle, as there's a single streak. Second location. The bedroom. Here we have another example. Diffraction is the bending of a wave around a barrier or obstacle or through a single slit. And as you can see, this little bit of light has split here as a ray. If the wavelength is smaller than the gap width, the wave passes through the gap with some diffraction. Whereas if the wavelength is larger than the gap width, more diffraction occurs. And we can see that diffraction evident in this example. And that's all for today. So I hope you learned something about diffraction and got to see some cool patterns of light. The lower the, 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 lower the ratio, the lower the ratio, the less is the diffraction. Wait, the lower the diffraction. The amount of diffraction, diffraction, diffraction. <laughs> Lol.